Hey guys, Kat Kong here with Studio Sweat and Studio Sweat On Demand. A very, oh, and I'm here with? AJ. Hi, I'm so okay. sorry. Don't worry about it. So we have had this question come across repeatedly, and the question is, what are some exercises that I can do that will make me a better cyclist, whether it be indoor or out, okay? Um, a lot of people think about the most obvious exercises, but I know you guys know how to do lunges and sit-ups. And, and sit-ups, or working on the core, working on the quads, working on the hamstrings and the glutes. But we don't think about how to make yourself stronger, which a lot of that's in your hips and spin. Yep, um, hips and core, hips which and core. are kind of hard. Yep. Yeah, all the same thing. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna teach you how to get a little stronger on your hips and to get faster on the bike for your sprints, because we all love to sprint in class, right? Yeah, <laughs> love to sprint. Yeah, and then um, we're also gonna get that core strength back in there as well, with all different right. core. So let's show you guys a couple of exercises that are gonna make you better on that bike. All right, team, I'm gonna show you guys how to power your hips and how to sprint better on the bike. It's actually a drill for sprinting and running as well. So you're gonna start with the wall. You have your hands on the wall, about 45 degree angle. Take one leg up and power up. Switch, switch, and then you go to the left side. Start with the left, switch. Powering those hips up as hard as you can. You can go as fast as you can, slow as you can. Making it count, I promise you, that'll get you faster. All right, you guys, another really good one um, to get yourself stronger on that bike is a plank step out. Your core being strong is so important in spinning. So you can, don't kick me. You can see Bethany <laughs> is stepping out from side to side. You can do this exact same exercise from your elbows if you prefer, okay? And she's trying to step as wide as she can to really work those obliques while at the same time, everything in the front and back, all the traverse abdominals are getting nice and strong on this one. So make sure you add this into your routine. All right, for our last spin, we worked on the upper body, or the lower body, we worked on the core. I wanna work on the upper body because we need good posture when we spin. If we lose our posture, we lose our breathing. So, a good one is rear delts. We've talked about this before, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do singles so we can work that core a little bit more. So it's bent over, tabletop position, glutes out, one arm, fly it out. If you need to split your stance, it's not gonna work your core as much, but if you do have a bad lower back, you may split your stance right here. Shoulders back and down. Leading with the chin, core and tight. Make sure you keep those glutes nice and tight. Fly it out, chest level. All right guys, we just showed you a few moves to make you stronger on the bike and faster on the bike. I love it. And make sure for those indoor cycling workouts that you can't get enough of, you come into Studio Sweat in San Diego or check out Studio Sweat on Demand.